House Republicans unveil findings from Dr. Fossey's testimony. Republicans on the House Committee on Oversight and Reform and the House Committee on Energy and Commerce today released the following joint statement regarding the testimony of Dr. Anthony Fossey. Dr. Fossey's testimony today exposed the catastrophic and systemic failures in America's public health system. Dr. Fossey had oversight of essentially all U.S. and foreign research funding as he led the nation's COVID-19 response and influenced state pandemic policies. He signed off on proposals that were outside of NIAID's mission and admitted that he did not know whether NIAID reviewed foreign labs. Clearly, different parts of the U.S. Government have vastly different expectations for the roles and responsibilities of our nation's public health leaders and accountability for our nation's public health. It is also deeply troubling that the leader of our nation's pandemic response doesn't recall critical details in the midst of the world's most severe public health crisis. Nearly 1.2 million Americans have died from COVID-19, and hundreds of millions of Americans have had their lives upended by lockdowns. We look forward to asking Dr. Fossey additional questions, including about his decisions to impose mass mandates and lockdowns and his role in the proximal origin paper. The Oversight and Energy and Commerce Committees will continue working to get the American people the answers they deserve and demand. Dr. Fossey's testimony was shocking. He admitted he had no idea where COVID-19 came from and that he had never reviewed the funding for the Wuhan lab. This is stunning given that Dr. Fossey was the U.S. government's point person on COVID-19. His testimony suggests the U.S. government made grave errors in its handling of the pandemic. Dr. Fossey's testimony also revealed a lack of transparency in the U.S. government's funding of foreign labs. Dr. Fossey admitted he did not know whether NIAID reviewed foreign labs. This is concerning because the U.S. government gives billions of dollars to foreign labs each year. We do not know what this money is being used for or whether these labs are complying with U.S. laws and regulations. Dr. Fossey's testimony should serve as a wake-up call. It shows the U.S. government made serious mistakes in its handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. We must hold Dr. Fossey and other government officials accountable and ensure that this never happens again. Here are some key points from Dr. Fossey's testimony. Dr. Fossey admitted he had no idea where COVID-19 came from. Dr. Fossey admitted he had never reviewed the funding for the Wuhan lab. Dr. Fossey admitted he did not know whether NIAID reviewed foreign labs. Dr. Fossey admitted to a lack of transparency in the U.S. government's funding of foreign labs. Dr. Fossey admitted the lab leak hypothesis is not a conspiracy theory. Three years ago, the infamous Proximate Origin paper was published, which attempted to verify and dismiss the lab leak hypothesis. Fossey admitted that the lab leak hypothesis was not a conspiracy theory. Crucially, he could not both defend the certainty of a natural origin and admit that a lab leak was possible. Of all the revelations, the most pivotal was that Fossey acknowledged the lab origin. Hypothesis is not a conspiracy theory. But why did he previously suppress the lab origin theory? Why did he call the lab origin theory a conspiracy theory? Why did he suppress the Lude Society and Dr. Yan's report? These are the most important milestones in the past two days of hearings. Since Fossey published the now infamous Proximate Origin paper in Nature magazine, he has been seeing that COVID-19 was of natural origin. With this paper, 
he has been trying to dismiss the lab origin theory as a conspiracy theory. In the U.S., the CCP is weaponized, biowarfare is a grave concern, and the country is determined to hold the CCP accountable. Fossey cleared this hurdle. What does that mean? The key is his admission that the virus did not originate naturally. So what's next? What is the virus's origin? Fossey may deny any involvement, saying it was not his doing. So doesn't it seem as though the investigation will soon target the CCP? These are shocking revelations. Dr. Fossey was the U.S. government's point person on COVID-19. His testimony suggests the U.S. government made grave errors in its handling of the pandemic. We must hold Dr. Fossey and other government officials accountable and ensure that this never happens again.